so it's K here and we are back with another NBA 2K16 career and for a little recap of last episode what happened was there was a little tensions between my agent my sister and my thought girlfriend that I really don't like but anyways let's get to the game so we are playing the Dallas Mavericks once again and the coach told me to shoot more often I shot the three off the left wing it did not go down I'm probably just gonna wait till I start feeling it to shoot the ball we go with the pick and roll I see Markeith Morris drives the paint shoots the jumper and makes the bucket we are up by 11 points and after a missed free throw by Villanueva we're running the fast break and no can defend as I see Brandon Knight in the paint hitting him for the layup. All game though, we were playing very well as a team. The chemistry continues to build. As you can see, the pick and roll with Lore getting the layup, increasing the score margin. Check this out, fast break. We're looking down court. We see Markeith Morris once again, the jumper getting me another assist. I poked the ball loose. There was a little miscommunication on the play and JJ Barea scores the bucket. We're, we can't let this man score, so I think I'll take it myself this time. Pick and roll, but I can't pass up the opportunity if I see Alex Len in the paint. I have five assists, zero rebounds, and zero points, and a successful double team leading into pressure, which makes JJ Barea throw out of bounds. I'm liking this, so I size the man up, drive to the paint, Villanueva cannot stop me as I make the layup and I shush the crowd, letting them know I can score my buckets. Pass it out to Warren. And I step back a bit and shoot the jumper in the paint, scoring another bucket. I'm finally getting more comfortable with my shot in game. Another missed free throw. And like I said, no can defend. Brandon Knight, that is deja vu from earlier. Look at Brandon Knight with a smile on his face. He's happy. Let's go, JJ. Thank God you're not JJ Watt. Crossover, but I kick it out. Brandon Knight is wide open off the right wing, making the tray. Phoenix decides to sub me out in the fourth, and the game actually went to second overtime where they brought me in for two seconds. But we win the game. So I'm starting to feel more comfortable, and I'm starting to meld better with my team. A very successful night for me as I went four points, two for three, one rebound, and seven assists. But I really needed to learn how to score better. But soon after... Vic wanted As to have a private saying, meeting with me, him, and my thought girlfriend. CC and Dom got you doing a, uh, vet. What, what was that word he was using? Uh, rebrand? No, 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 no. Um, recalibrate. All this stuff they got you doing to recalibrate your image is cost you in the hood, fam. Yo. Oh, shoot, look, I'm playing watching, 2K. And they're not convinced. Vic, how many times do I have to tell you? The streets ain't always right. Man. Nah, 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 nah. It's always good in the hood. Uh, let's not Can't forget. Always be good everywhere. I am a student of human nature. All right, mm. take your man here. He's playing his hair video game is to not address the reason why his brand Jordan sneakers are sitting on store shelves collecting dust. Ooh. Ouch. Okay, what are your suggestions, Victor? He wants you to rob a bodega. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, man, I'm not talking about some focus group, all right? Mm. I'm talking about the hood. They don't trust you no more. They see you coming to the arenas wearing them tight pants your ballers be wearing, your high water ankles be showing. Your pants is just so tight, man. It, your ankles be choking. <clears throat> Air it out some. People don't see themselves in you anymore. Look at me. People don't recognize themselves in who you are. Okay, you want to recalibrate? Fine, B, go ahead. We'll recalibrate back to Harlem. Remind these fools where you from. Represent, you know what I'm saying? Like, where's that Jesus piece you used to rock? Now that, that shuttle's work. With them fake chains we used to wear. Yo, but that's my point. Yo, let me get you some nice jewels, huh? Make it flossy. Get you a new whip, something that the hood will love. Let's remind these fools that you the Harlem Renaissance up in this piece. Like, get a club, I don't know, something. Just, like a wait around, man. I mean, at least get me some too. Yeah, and Shut get some up, nice free bed too. Nah, but for real, in all seriousness, you think it's that bad? Yo. Cats be laughing at your corner commercials, B. Come on. Man, but I that's what I'm choice. saying. The NBA no, we can change makes me do them. Hey, now I know CC's your manager and all, CC's but pizza, everywhere though. she leads, you can't always follow. Now, I'm not trying to catch no charge, but CeCe got people out here laughing at you, fam. 
Now, just let me take care of everything. You the CEO, I'm the CFO, chief boss and officer. You hit me with that bread, and I got you. CC. How y'all doing? Uh, oh, CC. shoot, this is going to, to be interesting. Yeah, In private? CC, go ahead. Okay, well, I thought we were supposed to be having a private meeting today to discuss business. CC, what you think we're doing? Am I talking to you? <laughs> you know what, y'all ain't talking business. Y'all talking nonsense. We were actually discussing the questionable nature of the promotional strategy that you and Dom have employed on Freak's behalf. Now, it doesn't necessarily resonate with his core fan base, primarily due to the fact that it negates the legitimacy of his personal background and history in favor of reaching a larger, primarily more disinterested demographic that would prefer to judge Freak's past as opposed to appreciate it. <laughs> Yo, what Yvette said. Four times 25, 100. Oh, so now you know your times tables. Spot. Yvette, occasionally proving that you're articulate doesn't mean you have business acumen. Beyond, of course, your clear mastery of basic arithmetic, we all know you can add up how much freak makes. Okay, Cece, that's <laughs> nothing. No, no, you know what, Cece? That's, you're absolutely no right. Freak. And the reason... speaking of basic arithmetic, how much of freak's money do you take? Okay, I mean, what, did I I say say what? Freak. what did I just say about Team Freak? A manager? You know what? No, the right. only members of Good. Team Freak in here are me and you. Oh, you know what, Cece? This isn't the womb, okay? It's not just you and Freak. Speaking of, how's that going for you? Hey, come on. Oh, snap! You gonna let hey. her talk to me Yo, like that, really? You need to check her now. Yo, check her now. Yeah. Yo, I'm out. You know what, I think I'm I'll out. join oh, you. No, 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 darlings, please. Please, have a seat. I would just love to hear what you all were just discussing. Better yet, let me guess. Hmm. <laughs> Hey, yo, I'm saying, dude, what you need to do is hit up these parties. Yeah, you need to show these fools how you still have mad love for the hood. Get you some flossy jewels. Make sure every time they see you whistling the new whip. Better yet, let's get us a dealership or a club or something. Never mind that house you promised your twin sister, you promised you get for your parents who are still in the projects where you left them. Yo, that's not fair. I didn't leave them my ass. Hey, and you know I'll never leave our parents a project. Thing, fam. I'll take care of everything. All you gotta do is break me off with that bread. She may just be a leech. Yeah, that's what I thought. Wow. You know what, Cece? I don't know what's going on with you tonight, but I think it's best you go home. We will continue our meeting here. You asking me to leave? Yes. Hey, right, yo, freak. It's all good, man. As a matter of fact, Cece, now, I know you don't like me. You never have. Now, I don't know what I ever did to you. But at this point, does it really matter anymore? Look, I just want you to know that I'm really sorry. But whatever it was, I can honestly say it was not intentional. All right? You freak. Think about what I said earlier, man. I ain't trying to catch no charge. Always with the basketball that metaphors. Red? That's bounce. You know I love you more than life itself. And how come you always put them before me? I don't put anyone above you, not even myself. You sure about that, Cece? What would you just call all this? I mean, you come in here blowing up my spot and you insult my brother? He's not our brother. You disrespect my woman. <laughs> just trying to protect you. From who? From the likes of you? But you don't think I realize that I have vultures and blood-sucking leeches in my life? Oh. <laughs> don't think that I realize escalated. that you're one of them? Bloodsucker? Yeah, but you know what? That's what I think the problem is. It's because you realize you're no better than them and you're ashamed. But in fact, you're worse because we share the same blood. And just because they don't have the same blood running through their veins as us, doesn't mean that they don't love me. Yeah, their love might be flawed, but it's true. What you need to understand is I don't need you to protect me anymore. I don't mind the people closest to me leeching off me. Yes, you do leech off me and I leech off you too. You love business and you love me, I use that. Vic? Uh, Vic? 
you know he don't mind running these streets. He's my connection to things I don't want to deal with anymore, so I let him do him. I take Damn. care of him, and then return has he looks a out for me in places you know on. you can. And as much as you don't want to hear this, Yvette, she is the eye of the storm in my life right now. She is my only calm. She's my peace, my shelter. Well, you better buy a new shelter. I use these people, and they use me. I just don't call it that, CC. I don't call what you do using me. I call what you do caring for me. Forgive yourself and forgive them for using the resources at their disposal to get what they need. And what you need to learn to do is just trust me. OK, I've always had a good judge of character, even before I was born. Remember? Because I chose to come in this world with you. That's right. It was me and you in the womb just kicking it. Right? Right? I was born first. <laughs> yeah, you were. Mm. 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 Swish. Some people say you just a hang around, that you're a leech. Why is that the word? Because people just don't know. They yo. be hating? They be hating. They hating on my game. They hating on our friendship. See, FOF, friend of freak. See, nobody got that be like freak I do. Than and everybody else wants him. that. Who doesn't? But that's my boy. I'm in that spot. That is my lane. And everybody else just got to make way for that, you know? That's him, but who are you? No, nah, man, I, just, I got my own life, you know? People think I'm just sitting back and riding on him, but that's not the case, yo. I got, I got dreams. I got dreams, yo. See, my, my boy knows, right? There's, there's two ways that I could do this. I could do it a legit way, or I could do it the crooked way. And I'm really, really, really trying not to do it the crooked way, but Freak can help me do that. He could put, he could put you on? Maybe. You got to do what you got to do when you need to do it to mm. get ahead. Mm -hmm. And that's what I do, and I'm just really good at it. What can I say? I get by, day by day, step by step. Dang, that is a lot to take in. There's a lot of tension. Um, a lot of people just kind of expose their intentions. Things are starting to get crazy with the people close to me, but I have no time to be distracted because now I play the Los Angeles Clippers in LA. I have a lot more to prove till I can earn the starting job, so I cannot get distracted. I come in when we're down 15 to 11, trying to size up Chris Paul, show him that I'm not afraid. Pick and roll, pass it out, crossover, step back, and Chris Paul is not guarding close enough, so I shoot the three and I make the bucket. I need to become a better shooter if I want to be successful in this league. But this game will be difficult as the Clippers have plenty of offensive weapons at their disposal. I get Chris Paul off the pump, but I decide to kick it out because I'm not trying to get blocked by DeAndre. I'm trying to space the court a bit. Driving. I go with a little behind the back. Contested shot, but I make it. I am starting to feel it. Off the inbound, we are down by two. We're looking behind the back crossover. Where are your ankles, Austin Rivers? And I dunk it down. Let's go. We go with the pick and roll. And we kick it out to Alex Len, who goes right around Blake. Blake was, I don't know, he was probably thinking about going to the club after the game or something. He was playing no defense. After a made shot by Josh Smith, we're running the fast break. We got to speed up this offense. Crossover behind the back. Austin Rivers. He was... <laughs> I take he was a little too scared to get crossed over again, so I make the three. Sizing up Austin Rivers. What are we gonna do? Pick and roll. Alex Len comes over, and he goes straight to the paint, and a perfect pass, almost deflected by Josh Smith. Running the fast break. I pass it out to Tyson Chandler, who then hits Alex Len for the dunk. So we're winning this one. We're playing a pretty great game versus a pretty good team. Missed shot by Blake Griffin. I get the rebound. It's time to use this court vision. And Trevor Booker off the right corner and Cash, he will not miss that. Hitting the three exactly why they drafted him from Kentucky. 
But after getting subbed out, they bring me back in the fourth quarter. We're down by 13. I get the assist. Tyson Chandler gets the dunk. Except that is just not enough to get the win. If they kept me in, maybe we would have had a better chance of winning. But I am not the coach. I'm just trying to play my role on this team to keep the coach and owner happy because I know I'm on a short leech with that man. But I had my best game by far with 10 points and 5 assists. Yo, yo. What up? Basquiat, let's go. Got that R for y'all, that real spit. Uh, they call me Basquiat. The Harlem take my pockets full of fat knots, making all the ladies drop. Paint me street corners green. My bank owes the color bills. Seen half man, half amazing. Call me Simi, I did Jimmy Gog. Halo crown with the dollar sign, got a pulpit. A ghetto saint, so we're grand designs. Call me focus. Before the Basquiat, the streets is hopeless. I'm not heartless, ain't painting pictures. Making new kind of skill, I'm banking up to old figures. They call me Basquiat, pockets full of fat knots, dust till dawn. Your boy makes a street pop, got it all locked. Body don't stop, make it hot. Love it when the bunnies bounce, when they on top. Basquiat, I got all the seven seas. Make your way to the world, no see. Basquiat, my pockets go deep. I dive in. I get up and then creep. I'm all hustling, grind. I'm all about my money. No time for playing games when the game ain't funny. Ain't funny. Okay, yo, he's nice. What's his name? <laughs> hey, he goes by the name Basquiat, yo. Basquiat puts game down on them bars, yo. I'm telling you. Hey, we record a nice mixtape. Hey, do a nice video. Get some honeys up in there dancing. Hey, we can build a franchise around this, yo. Hey, I want us to do a deal, freak. Oh my God! Of course what you, you mean by us, mate? I mean us, as in you and me, me and you, putting some serious Skrilla behind this and put me on, man. I'm Basquiat. What? You heard me? <laughs> I'm Basquiat. That's me. <laughs> That's you? Yeah. One hundred. <laughs> okay, you nice with it. What? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> Basquiat. Yo. We don't need no major label to make this happen, man. And in the end, we reap all the benefits. Think about it. Mm -hmm. I know what you're thinking. Mm. I know as we pass Colonel Young Park, too. <laughs> Yo, Coach Judy was the best. I remember when she took us from park to park so we could play ball. Uh, she taught us how to be comfortable in places other than the courts and the projects. Word, word. <laughs> Yo, Coach Judy would have us shoot hundreds of jumpers all <laughs> over the court with both hands. And you caught on to the ambidextrous thing real <laughs> fast, though. Right. Now, but you were a beast with the hops. Funny thing you is, I'm like ambidextrous 13, in five, real life. Six, okay. And could reverse dunk <laughs> with two hands. Right. Come on, man. <laughs> Whoa! <What? laughs> yeah, used to bug all the older dudes out on the court. Yep. You know? <laughs> Oh, good times, man. Good times. What's wrong, V? Mm. It's not the man. It's it's silly, really. Come on, Vic. Fess up. I'm just. I'm thinking about how fortunate you are. You know how, how blessed you are. You, know, you, you grew up with a mom's and a dad, both parents. Your family treated me like family when my dad died in Greenhaven in his ninth year on his 40 year bed. You remember that? Yeah. And I turn around, my mom's died from that flu. Damn. Right. It's been that a hard childhood. That sick parting gift my dad left my mom's. Oh, I feel you, Vic. It's all right, man. You know, your moms and pops are good people. You know, may they rest in power. So you're gonna patronize me now? Mm -hmm. You're gonna pity the little boy whose worthless, low-budget parents died from AIDS? Is that what you're gonna do? Oh! Yo, don't, don't pity me, all right? And don't play me, neither. As a matter of fact, go play the lottery, because, hey, you never know. Your chances might Yo, be better. Vic, 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 Vic. What are you doing right now? You got everything, don't you, freak? What do I have? Nothing. 
and I got nothing. Look, you're wearing an FOF hat. You, you're associating you even, you your identity you, with mine. Even Create an identity me. for yourself. Squilla, I need the back. You guys too, Bust all you mistake, people you? listening, create an identity for yourself. But on top of that, I get banned from traveling with the team. I get banned from the locker rooms. I get banned from the arena. Because you're screwing what? up? Would you let them do this to your best friend, man? What kind of friend are you? Vic, you being serious right now. You're serious. Yeah, you sound like you on some Welch's sour grape right now, man. You jelly? I ain't jealous of you, freak. You sure, man? Because this, well, I don't know what you call this little tirade. It spreads like some Welch's grape jelly. Are you jealous? Like I said, I ain't jealous of you, freak. As a matter of fact, I think you are jealous of me. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's right. I think you jealous of the way that I'm laying it down with these hottie hotties on Instagram while you stuck at home with your one blazing beauty. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, don't get heated because you went behind my back to get at Yvette and she turned you down, B. Oh, hmm? I did oh, not know whoa, that. Oh, what's wrong, boss That is not good. Yeah, that's right. Look at you. Out there drowning in the middle of a whack lake without a lifesaver. Brother, real talk. Mm -hmm. You know how I get. All right, I was, I was feeling a little friendly. I yeah. got a little loose with it, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, I was yeah, just yeah, up yeah, yeah, You yeah. know me, man. Save that so you hit you, it on my girl? Bet Actually, no, you know screw it. You can take her. I kept it on the low, low. See if you ever was going to mention it. You did it. You broke the code, B. One never steps to his boy's boo even after they break up. But you broke the code. And you know you did. <laughs> but you know what? It's still all love here. But it's you who chooses this life in these streets. You know, you want to get on, on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter, on Tinder, trying to chase these thirsty tens. Yeah, use my name as a coupon. Reel them all in. Hey, sweet thing. Hey, sweetie pie. Hey, shawty, you know I'm a FOF, a friend, a freak. And then when they husbands and boyfriends start coming after you and you want to play the macho man role, start throwing hands, scrapping and fighting, who's the one that has to bail you out of jail? Huh? Who's the one that has to pay these lawyers in six-figure settlements, huh? Me! Not you. Dang. Oh, no, not you, Vic. And then, and then when you want to throw these lavish parties without consulting me, who's the one stuck with the bill, Vic? Huh? Me! What? Not you! But me! That's messed up. I have hit you off in the past 10 months with a quarter of a million dollars, Vic. A quarter of a million dollars. That's a lot of money. Dang. I don't mind you eating, but when you being a glutton and a glutton off my plate and my food, love is love, but I'm keeping it 10 times 10 with you right now, Vic. 100. As usual, 100. You right. You right, Freak. <laughs> You've been carrying me for a long time. And I've been a burden and a hindrance to you. And I'm sorry. I thank you for your generosity of finance. I thank you for your generosity of friendship. And I thank you for your generosity of spirit. You know what? It's all good. Oh, thank you. But you owe me. Oh, oh yeah, my you owe God. Me. I knew yeah, it had to be something. Time. Uh huh. How? How? Dirt, bike, Don. <laughs> Remember him? Dude who was robbing everybody in the towers? Vic, I thought we was never, ever going to talk about that. Oh, well, you thought wrong, homie. Ah, I remember it like it was yesterday. Remember when we were on the stairwell in the building? Remember that? We had just brought our sheepskin coach from Delancey Street, a senior year of high school. You were the hottest prospect in the country. <laughs> and, and Donnie's jealous butt, man, he had it out for you and me. But more so you, Free. More so you. <laughs> 
Remember when he saw our brand new fresh sheepskin coats? Oh, dude lost his mind. He ran up on you and told you to run it. Man. Oh, man, he wanted your coat. Yo, no, nah, Vic. Oh, he wanted Vic, it so Vic, bad. No, we were fighting, all right? We were fighting, OK? Then he reached in this coat. And when he pulled, yeah. we struggled, man. Yeah. And it, when he pulled back, he fell down steroid by himself that's right, that's and right, cracked his right. head in two. Yo, man, hey, calm, down, down, calm down, calm down. Yo, it's all good. It's all good, fam. I was there. Remember that? I was there. I saw the whole thing. <laughs> it's like you said. Everything happened so fast, you know? You, you was working off of adrenaline and pure instinct. I know you didn't try and do it. Yeah, I know you didn't try and do it, man. Yeah. Anyway, I took care of all the loose ends when you ran down the flight of steps. Left me holding the bag. Dang. Yeah. Wait. So you so secret did safe he me for you. get arrested? Has been and for me? will be safe from that same morality clause that you threw in my face when I was banned from your NBA life. <laughs> so, next time you want to talk about food, remember when Dirt Bike Donnie looked at you like food, who was it that saved the day? Me! It was me! Victor Van Leer, who cleaned your dirty plate for you. You're a clean freak. You're clean it in the board of health. Cause of who? Cause of me. You got all this because of me. And don't you ever forget that. There's a little bit of a difference. Yes, that was extremely great for what he did, but I, it's not, he's acting like I don't do things for him. He, like I said, a quarter of a million dollars over the last year or so? <laughs> That's ridiculous. He's acting like I'm treating him like crap. I'm helping the man out a lot. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I, just, I just thought of something so funny. You gonna get kicked out of this. You gonna get kicked out of this, yo. I need you to ask you for one more favor. Yeah, that's hilarious, bruh. That's hilarious. Hey, hey, it might be the last favor I ever ask of you, but you gotta admit that's really funny. Yeah, of course. Anything for FOF. Oh, hey, says the NBA megastar, his voice dripping with the sarcasm. <laughs> hey, yo, peep this. Let me borrow this here ride, man. Oh, hey, come course. on, come on. It's not like you're gonna miss it. It's just gonna sit in your Tribeca garage next to your Aston Martin and your Lambo, mm. and we both know they're collecting dust. <laughs> Yo, how many whips you got anyway? Man, come on. Yeah, you're right. I don't even wanna know. Yo, this ride is for sure an aphrodisiac for all the hotty hots. <laughs> man, we living a life, man. <sighs> My main man, Frequency Vibrations. We for sure living the dream. I need this back at the end of the season in the same condition. Repeat, same condition. Same condition. That I lent it to you. I am way Pristine, too nice. Vic. I know I know what that word means. Hey, <laughs> I, I won't let you down, man. I'm gonna treat this ride like one of my own hottie hots. No. No? No, you not. Not in this car, you not. No. <laughs> All right, man. I won't let you down, okay? I will change my ways, I promise. Yo, you hungry? I'm hungry, man. Let's go get something to eat, man. Let's, let's, get, let's, let's get some grub. Huh? What do you say? What do you say? Wow. Dang, I have a really nice place. I never saw the kitchen. Why do I have like four stoves? <laughs> Dang, I look stressed, man. Gotta kick it back. Don't get any dirt on the white furniture, though. Let me try this seat out now. I like this one, too.
Can my guy just not make up his choice on where to sit? <laughs> I mean, choose one. Oh God. Freak. I didn't expect you to be here. Coach well, I didn't want out, right? to be here because mm. I didn't want to see you, but. You okay? What's going on? Same old, same old. Mm. Wow, your shoulders are really tight. Are they stressing you out again? Yeah. You know you always got me, right? I'm always gonna be here. Baby, I'm your ride or die. And as quiet as it's kept, you and I are the real team freak. You should have stopped right there. Gold digger alert. Word of my moms. With any other woman in my life. And she gave me a different feeling, which was something I fell in love with. I never asked her to be my girlfriend. It just became that. And you could tell when we started falling, like, I get a text message, and she's like, huh, who's that? And it's just like, oh, so we worried now. Oh, so no more of that? All right, you know what I mean? So that's how, that's how I came to agreement. What's different about you that? Well, when you could teach me something or give me knowledge about anything, I'm already attracted to you as a person. I love learning, and she was very intellectual, and she's a very strong woman. And in this life, I need a strong woman. Well, we need to find a new strong woman because things are starting to go down. Like I said in the beginning, everyone around me, their real motives are becoming exposed like a vet said or whatever her name is. So maybe I'm your ride or die. No, I just know you want the millions. Vic Van Leers, you know, he's starting to do the most. Like after everything he said, he he's starting to feel like I, ho I owe him everything. My sister feels like since she's my sister by blood, I owe her everything as well. But so the story will definitely pick it up next episode for sure. How could it not? But I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you for all the support. And please stay tuned for my next NBA 2K16 career. I'm out.